Hey guys, welcome to Utah, Sandy Hollow, outside of St. George to be exact. And that is a brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler. And in this video, we are gonna take it off road because, well, why wouldn't you? Now, uh, I had a choice of all the different Wranglers for 2024, starting with kind of the base sport at around 34,000. But of course, I chose <laughs> the 392 because you know, who doesn't love 470 horsepower and 470 pound foot of torque, a big old V8. Now for 2024, it may look the same, but it's not. There are a lot of differences starting with, come on up here. First time ever, you can get a built in worn winch from the factory. 8,000 pounds of worn towing goodness. Now the 392 comes standard on 35s with a inch and a half lift to give you better breakover approach departure angles there's also a new front fascia as you can tell and because of the worn winch it's actually a little bit shorter than the outgoing model other differences and perhaps the biggest difference of all is if properly configured and unfortunately you can't do it on the 392 jeep has gone up 1500 pounds towing so now the new Wrangler tows, get this, 5,000 pounds with the proper configuration. And that's the new floating Dana 44 rear axle. Um, available, like I said, on some configurations. Uh, back there, that is the new uh, 4xe. And of course the 4xe goes, I don't know, about 20 miles of all electric range. And the cool thing about that one for 2024 uh, is that you can actually plug an outlet into the charge port and get up to 30 amps of um, additional power so if your power goes out at your house you could plug your refrigerator into the jeep and the motor actually works as a generator anyway this is all about off-roading on all tfl we've got a complete walk around of all the different models including pricing um, and such so uh, let's see how good the new wrangler is off-road i'm assuming it's very good so let's jump in and hit this off-road course and i will show you one of the coolest new features inside the Wrangler, uh, and that is this new screen. Uh, check it out. Uh, there's a new giant touchscreen. It's uh, Apple enabled as well as Android Auto. I was going to say Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are part of this. Uh, uh, and uh, yeah, you've got a lot of different features in here, uh, including, of course, uh, uh, Onyx Off-Road, which this isn't, but is still available uh, and thanks to our friends at onyx off-road uh, uh, this video is possible now i've set up a camera over here uh, and i've set up a camera over here to kind of give you a, a pov look at what this is like uh, and we're going to take on some pretty extreme stuff uh, and i'm going to have uh, our videographer cole who's behind the camera let me give these guys a thumb up that we're good to go and we'll have cole jump out and i'll do some commentary about what it's like uh, to wheel the 392 um, as you know, the 392 first came out a couple of years ago. It's a Jeep that all of you have been asking about um, and wanting. Uh, it was up on Obtainium for a long time. Uh, you know, Jeep is only building so many of these V8s. And my favorite feature in this, besides, of course, all the off-road gear, uh, is a little raccoon button right there, which changes the exhaust. There are little baffles that open and close from kind of quiet to very loud. Uh, and, uh, yeah, you don't need it while you're off-roading. And you certainly don't need 470 horsepower or 470 pound-feet of torque, but you certainly do want it. And I think that's uh, really cool. Uh, now, I always feel extremely happy off-road. I mean, this is definitely my happy space. Uh, and I think you're going to see just how capable this is as we go over some of these obstacles. Now, the fine folks from Jeep Jamboree are here to kind of help us uh, pick the right line, which makes it much... Uh, much less stressful, uh, so I just kind of follow along with them and do what they tell me to do, uh, and uh, you'll see just how capable this is. One of the great things about having this Jeep uh, with so much torque is that you really uh, can drive this with only, you know, your braking foot. It just, just plows over everything. Now, I do have it in four low. Uh, the Jeep is aired down. I'm about a 19 PSI. I do have it in off-road mode, and I do have the uh, sway bar disconnected. Here's an interesting fact. Uh, did you know that last quarter, that being the first quarter, Jeep actually sold 
38% of its vehicles as the new 4x plug-in hybrid. And the reason for that is, I suppose, because uh, it qualifies for the uh, tax credit. So while it starts for 2024 at about 50K, it does qualify for you know your federal and state rebates. All right, here we go. Going up the hill. Now this is something you probably wouldn't want to try without spotters because even though I have a camera right now that I can activate uh, that shows me where the front is, you know, those cameras do tend to kind of make everything a little bit flat. And so having these spotters, and if you're watching this from my POV, you'll see that, that, that all I see is blue skies right now. And so it really helps to have not just the camera, but also uh, the spotters. And that just looked super easy, super, super easy. And all that torque and power uh, make this just a lot of fun. Now, some of you may be wondering, you know, how does this compare to the Bronco? And uh, we've done a lot of videos, a lot of actually hard videos, where we've taken the Bronco and we've taken the Jeep off-road. So go check out, for instance, the time we ran the Bronco uh, versus uh, the new Jeep uh, up Red Cone. And you'll see uh, that both of these vehicles now uh, are very capable indeed. Uh, and speaking of new, uh, there are more new features besides the screen. Uh, there's also uh, a new power seat uh, with lumbar support. How cool is that? So that when you're facing the sky like I was, uh, you don't have to kind of struggle for that towel bar and try to scoot your way up in the seat if you need to reposition yourself to kind of see better over the hood. Um, there's also new side air bags, kind of where my camera is right here. Uh, and those are really nice as well because those allow you to be much safer in this Jeep. And of course we now have, and this came, I think last year, Gorilla Glass. So it's more uh, comfortable, let's say, on road and more quiet. All right, here's one more obstacle. Uh, this one is another little bit of a rock climb that uh, I think is a great example of uh, this thing's off-road ability. Uh, and the one thing I have learned over the years is that most of you probably won't ever do this. Some of you will, but you know, if you live in, let's say, New York or Florida, it's very hard to go all the way out here to Colorado or Utah uh, to go off-roading. A lot of Jeepers do go off-road, but a lot don't. But people, I think, buy these not because of what they will do, but because of what they can do. Uh, and so I'm very uh, cognizant that this is kind of a demonstration so that you guys, if you are into the Jeep, you'll have a good idea of what this is capable of. Uh, and um, I can tell you right now, it's capable of a lot more uh, than I ever am. <laughs> and right now I don't have my front locker locked, I just have my rear locker locked, uh, but uh, it seems to be plenty uh, for this obstacle. Okay, I'm gonna go right a little bit. I got a bit of a approach angle test here as I come down this obstacle so we can see how well the approach angle is. I'll go a little bit right here, thanks to the spotter. Uh, and with these air down tires, it's such a comfy ride. One of the things I really hate uh, when I'm off road is when you know you get that head bob back and forth, especially when you're a passenger, that's just no fun. Uh, and with this vehicle with the 35s aired down, it's just so comfortable. Um, anyway, um, that's just a quick kind of show and tell of how this new uh, Jeep Wrangler does off-road. I think uh, it's time for uh, the drone shot so you can kind of get a different perspective.
So that was a little drone demo of the new 8,000 pound Warren winch. Uh, cost about, depending if you get it uh, integrated, it can be between two and $3,000 from the factory, which is really cool because what that means is uh, they've crash tested the Jeep and you've got, you know, all the safety measures that you would have in a regular from the factory Wrangler instead of, you know, one that you had afterwards. Uh, now, if you guys are big Jeep fans, you'll know that the 35s used to come in the Extreme Recon package, but now it comes standard on the uh, 392. Uh, and this one has, you know, the one-touch roof that opens up. And I think those used to be a four or $5,000 option, and it may come, and you can check me on this standard on this Jeep as well. So for 90 k you're paying a lot, but, you know, uh, you're getting a lot. Uh, come on in with me. I want to show you some more things on the inside. Like I was talking about before, you get the front-facing camera and, of course, the rear-facing camera. And, you know, we have a Tesla, a long-term Tesla. And i got to tell you, those cameras are potatoes compared to this. I don't understand why uh, manufacturers sometimes decide to install very low-res cameras, but this one, very high-res, very easy to uh, use. And best of all, check this out. It's got a little squirty! <laughs> so you can squirt water on it. So when you're on the trail, and I know all the East Coast, got, East Coast guys, and actually at the ranch as well, are doing some mudding, you can actually clean out the camera without ever having to get out of the Jeep, which is handy because sometimes it's hard to get out of the Jeep, especially when you're midway through an obstacle. Now, some things have stayed the same, uh, and that is, of course, your traditional automatic with four high auto, uh, part-time four-wheel drive, Neutral and four low. I'm in four low. Uh, they had added, they have added different off-road modes uh, for 2024. So there's a sand mode, I believe. There's a rock crawl mode, and then of course, here you've got your uh, rear locker and your front and rear locker. The downside to engaging the front rear locker is that it makes it hard to steer. Uh, and quite frankly, when you air down this much, you probably don't need it. Let me show you this one-touch roof. really nice it basically opens up the uh, Wrangler without having to go and take off the panels which you know is not a terribly hard thing to do but uh, certainly not as easy as pushing a button and then like I was saying over here you can see that there's now airbags integrated uh, into the sports bar uh, and Jeep does call it a sports bar on purpose because it is not a roll bar so Nevertheless, when you're um, doing these obstacles, uh, there is a bar here, but um, it is a sports bar. So don't roll your Jeep unless you've actually put in an integrated roll bar. The thing that I also love about the 392, of course, are those four exhausts coming out the back. Uh, and uh, I'll show you those at the end of this video because I don't want to be obnoxious on the trail, but man, they are fun when they are baffle free. And you can hear this thing coming from a mile away. So if we were doing some sand uh, running, I would open those up and just have the sand flying off the tires. That's such a cool thing out here uh, in Sandy Hollow in, uh, in St. George or just outside of St. George. Whoa, there we go. And there goes all the gear. Oop, didn't crush the drone. That would be bad. All right, one last obstacle, guys. Uh, we'll roll the POV cameras again. Uh, and you can see what it's like uh, to go up a very steep hill. And sometimes the camera tends to flatten things out, uh, which is unfortunate because uh, they are far from flat. All right, here we go. I've got uh, the um, POV camera running so you can kind of see my perspective. And as you can tell, it's a lot of blue sky. I also have my front camera going and it really helps to have a spotter, but you know, this is straight up and I can't tell you uh, how much fun and how much butt clenching I'm doing right now. So a lot of fun and a lot of butt clenching because you feel like you're going to roll, but you're not. The center of gravity on this Jeep is uh, pretty low. So it, it does things that uh, your brain says it shouldn't do. Uh, and with the 35s, which are, you know, today's 33s back in the day, 35s were enormous tires. Now, of course, 40s are enormous, but I'm sure those are coming at some point from the factory if we can get past the EPA problem. Uh, 
then uh, I mean, but the EPA problem is obviously the, the taller the tire, uh, the worse the fuel economy. I mean, they sell almost a quarter million of these every year, which is, you know, hard to believe, especially because uh, most of these probably won't be out here. A lot of them will be out here, but most of them probably won't be out here. Uh, and so, you know, it's good to know that if you guys ever want to come out to Colorado and, uh, you know, take on the ranch or come out here to Moab or to uh, Sandy Hollow and take out some of these obstacles, you can. And then the best thing of all is that you can then drive this Jeep back home <laughs> on the highway uh, and have a comfortable ride uh, that is, uh, you know, just as much in the case of the 392 fun on road as it is off road. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do right now is at the end of this video, um, by the way, we've done a lot of videos from here. Like I said, the new Jeep also tows 5,000 pounds. So we're going to uh, do a first tow video. Uh, so we're going to show you that as well. Uh, so go to all TFL, but let me do one more thing here. So I'm going to take this mic and give it to my videographer and then we're going to do a bit of a vroom vroom. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, smiles per mile <laughs> a lot. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate you spending this time with me driving a new uh, 2024 Wrangler. I'll see you next time. And if you want to know more about this vehicle, including a complete model walk around and how it tows, uh, head on over to altfl.com. I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.